chuck that fruit out. Didn't notice this was a persimmon tree. And damn, it's a big one, ain't it? Hello there. Hmm? Are you out for a stroll too? It's the perfect weather for it. Yeah, sure. Hey, Kanachan. <sighs> you guys taking a walk too? Yes, staying cooped up in the house doesn't do much for one's health. So we step out for a walk from time to time. Oh, cool. Not like it matters. I'm going to die soon anyway. Once that persimmon falls from that tree, my life is over. There you go again with that nonsense. Sorry about that. No, don't sweat it. Well, if you'll excuse us, let's go, Kanachan. That girl. Wonder if she's sick. When the persimmon falls from the branch. Oh. <laughs> Hey. Hey. I'm pretty sure that girl Conoco's special persimmon trees over here somewhere. I wonder if the fruit's still... Huh? Ha! You gotta be kidding. Yo! What the hell are you doing? Mm. What's it look like? I'm practicing on this tree, boss. Why here? Can't you, like... Do that shit at the sumo stable or something? I'd be more than happy to, boss. But I'm afraid that's no longer an option. Why is that? Our sumo stable's pretty small with only my master, my mentor, and myself. I usually practice with my mentor. But one day, he went out for drinks with another wrestler and... Well, 
Had a large bottle of sake broken over his head. A bottle of sake? The culprit claims he was too drunk to remember anything, but because of him, my mentor's in the hospital. Three months for a full recovery, they say. I lost my practice partner. My brother. My family, boss. I'm gonna avenge him at the Spring Sumo Tournament. That's why I'm training for the big battle with this here tree. You're acting like the guy's dead. And look, nothing personal, but could you at least practice on another tree? Seriously, any tree other than this one. Sorry, boss, but of all the trees in Yokohama, this one is the biggest and feels the most like my boy. Yes, sir. I get the feeling this tree's gonna make me a whole lot stronger. His partner must be some kind of monster. That being said, I'll show no mercy to anyone who stands between me and my practice! Yo, I ain't telling you to stop practicing. I'm just worried about the persimmon on this tree. And I'm worried about wasting time and losing my rank! But if you insist on stopping me, then I'm just gonna have to practice on you, boss! Like the persimmon's okay. That was a really close call with that sumo wrestler. It should be fine now. Whoa! What the? Damn wind. The next one will get it. That pretty little persimmon's going down. Ow! Fucking! <laughs> Babies? Damn, these little bastards hurt. I don't know what's going on here, but I need to stop that maniac or the persimmon's gonna get shot! Hey! 
Stop shooting the fruit! Huh? Who the hell are you? Oh, you're that idiot who was dancing near my target. I wasn't dancing. You shot me, you dipshit! Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll make sure the next one's on target. Hold up! Cease fire! What have you got against the fruit? I have nothing against that persimmon. We're just testing something out. Testing what out? I'm a big military fanboy. I had this sniper rifle imported from overseas, and it just arrived today. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? It's a dream come true for a bolt-action lover like me. And I also can't complain about how genuine the specs are. Steel cylinder for maximum durability. The trigger even has that real authentic click. Anyway, I was wanting to test this baby out when, lo and behold, I found the perfect target. That pesky persimmon. Ah, oh, I get you. That's why you were shooting at it. That's cool and all, but you mind switching targets? What? I can't have you shooting at that persimmon. You see, there's this girl who's sick and... That's a negative! What? Why? A sniper never lets his target live. And I'm gonna put it down with my new partner here. Dude, it's a toy! Calm down! If you still intend to stop us, then you'll be our first hit! Yeah. What's that sound? What now? Oh, he's hammering a straw doll to the persimmon tree. Wait, persimmon tree? Ah! Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? None of your business. I'm casting a hex. Now scram! Yo, hold up, man! You stop that hex right now! Then why you gotta hurt the tree? <sighs> You'll never understand how I feel. I'm gonna cast a hex. On her. Her? Yes. On Hitomi. My classmate. And... My girlfriend. You're putting a curse on your girlfriend? What the hell for? I finally realized she never cared about me. I caught her kissing my senpai from the soccer team. Right here in front of this tree! For fuck's sake. Of all places for the shit to go down. So I'm casting a hex. Hammering this doll right into their special spot. No, wait. I know it really sucks for your girl to have betrayed you like that. But this won't solve anything. She might have had a reason for doing what she did. Are you taking her side too? Huh? Nobody understands how I feel. Everybody always takes her side. No, that's not what I mean. Enough! I'll cast a hex on anyone who sides with that traitor! And you're first, Shrubby!
それでは。Simon looks all right. I wonder how Kanako-chan is doing. I hope her surgery went okay. Kasuga-san. Huh? You're Kanako-chan's father. How's Kanako-chan doing? The surgery go all right? <sighs> huh? No, don't tell me. Uh, Kanako, come here. Kanako-chan? Wait, she's all better now? She is. She used to always stare out the window with such a hopeless look in her eyes. But these days, that look's been replaced with a smile. Her surgery was a great success, and she's even up on her feet again. No way! That's great! She wanted to come say thank you. To me? Thank you, Kasuga-san. You protected the persimmon for me. Nah, no need to say thanks. No, I had a lot of fun watching you. Fighting a sumo wrestler, getting shot by a toy gun, comforting that witch boy, and all to protect the persimmon. I couldn't help but laugh, and it made me realize there's so much to see out there. It gave me the hope to keep going. Oh yeah? Guess it was all worth it then. There was also a part of me that wanted to skip the surgery just so I wouldn't miss out on the drama. <laughs> Hey, hey, good thing you didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you happy. I should also thank this tree. I'm still here, thanks to this persimmon. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Well, what do you say we eat it? Huh? You want to eat it? You don't need it anymore, right? Besides, look how good it looks. You've wanted to eat it this whole time, haven't you? You got me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Oh yeah, look! It's nice and ripe. You want dibs, Kanako-chan? I'll have some after you. You should go first since you worked so hard to protect it. You sure? Okay then, here goes! <laughs> oh. Ugh. This is one of the bitter ones, huh? I thought so. You mean you knew? Come on, Kanako-chan! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.